<clears throat> on a cold and rainy day where I have my uh, laundry hanging to dry as much as I possibly can before I throw it into the dryer because the washer is no longer working, I am reminded of a poem that I have not told yet, and so here it is. It's called, If Only I Had the Money. <laughs> My cat is throwing up on a Sunday morning. I feel her head and ears are hot to the touch. She wants me to feed her, even though I already did. She threw it up. I know why this is, was happening. I had been weaning her off the expensive food because, well, I can't afford it. I was just beginning to get her completely off of it when she started to throw up. I fed her the expensive food. She crashes in the living room, sleeping so hard. When I tiptoe out of a loudly cre creaking bed to check on her, she doesn't even look up. I, resi I resist the urge to check her head and ears. I lock my eyes on her belly to make sure she is breathing. I leave her alone to rest. I lay back in bed trying to sleep. Yet the usual thoughts reeling through my mind whenever this happens keeps me up. If I had the money, I wouldn't have to worry about what I feed her. I would feed myself better if only I had the money. Hell, I would do more, help my parents get their roof fixed, if only I had the money. Always the same response, if only I had the money. It wasn't always like that. If we were back in the days where we were hunters and gatherers, we all had jobs to sustain the tribe we were in. When I say tribe, I don't mean the modern definition of tribe. That's a group of like-minded people. When, I'm, when I say tribe, what I'm referring to is a group of people made of other families that take care of each other. Protect, feed, nurse back to health if need, not just cuz, but for the part that they have taken in keeping the tribe together. I'm a potter, storyteller, teacher through craft and story. If I needed better food, the tribe leader wouldn't say, oh, you can't finish that last story. Oh, you can't give us that replacement plate that broke. Oh, you can't teach the children because your brain and body aren't working properly for the lack of proper nutrition. Oh, well, in that case, sucks to be you. No, they would give me what I need, relieving me of any worry. The tribe wouldn't see the state of my family's roof and turn their back because it ruined my kiln, setting, me my, setting my productivity back by a month and say, oh, you can't give us what we want? Well, you're shit out of luck. No, instead they would say, what do you need? How can we help? If anyone in my family, cat included, were sick, I could send for the medicine person they would come without question or hesitation or compensation because this is their job. Because that is their job. To keep the tribe healthy on all levels. The leaders wouldn't hold the medicine person back because my, my family member can't work leave them to suffer and die while I watch helpless to do anything, but still working for the betterment of the tribe, because that's not how this tribe works. I'm sure you will find other things wrong with my tribe scenario, because it's easier to bitch about little details of a small scenario aimed at illustrating a bigger problem at some random person online than to admit the overall truth. We don't care for each other anymore because we reflect the apathetic behavior of our leaders like we don't know what's going on because they have no idea. Wouldn't it be wonderful if we started to take care of each other despite our leaders, a peaceful revolution in the form of compassion? I finally fall asleep. My cat wakes me up hours later. She wants me to feed her because cats. Her fever is gone this time. I should take her to the regular vet. If only I had the money. If only I had a real tribe.
No, instead they would fix the goddamn roof. <laughs> because it's what needs to be done.